Hello everyone and welcome again. So we're continuing our discussion about the orthopedic stroma basic principles class and after we talked about the fracture healing in the previous video and we mentioned the types and the factors affecting the fracture healing all in details in the previous video uh, but now we will talk about the outcomes of the fracture healing or what are the, res the results of the procedure we done to the fracture uh, to heal so let's start so we have multiple outcomes of the fracture healing uh, we either get the fracture to heal back to normal and that's what we call union so basically the, bo the bone goes back to normal before the fracture occurred uh, and we have the, the delayed union that's when the time for the fracture to heal is prolonged but still the fracture also heal back to normal or the fracture does not heal and that's what we call non-union or the fracture heals but not in the normal anatomical position and that's what we call malunion and the final type is the refracturing and that's when the fracture heals but refracture again and we will explain each of those in the next slides so let's start by talking about the union so the union is complete healing of the fracture on physical examination the fracture site is painless on palpation and weight bearing uh, so when we palpate the fracture site it would be painless and also when we apply pressure to the fracture site it would be also painless the x-ray shows bridging callus the fracture the fracture line is replaced by bone for the delayed union the fracture healing takes twice as long as the expected time for a specific location so the fracture healing time is prolonged on physical examination the fracture site has local swelling uh, and movement or partial weight bearing is painful now let's talk about the non-union so in non-union the bone fails to unite the fracture healing doesn't occur in less than nine months since the initial injury and no signs of healing in the final three months so for us to classify the fracture as non-union we need two conditions the first one is that the fracture healing doesn't occur in less than nine months and the second one is that there is no signs of, in of healing in the final three months causes of non-union include three a mechanical instability that's when the fractured fragments are unstable and impaired vascularity that's when the uh, blood supply is impaired and when there is infection to the fractured bone uh, common sites of uh, non-union are the scaphoid bone femoral neck and tibial shaft and that's uh, mostly due to the limited blood supply to those sites in the non-union the patient present with uh, pain most of the times on examination there is tenderness over the fracture site and on x-ray there is persistent fracture line is seen and we have many types of non-union we have hypertrophic non-union that's when there is abundant callus formation but there is radiolucent line at the non-union line on x-ray so in the hypertrophic non-union that's when there is a lot of callus formed but the fracture site or the fracture line is still visible on x-rays uh, and that's because uh, there is a lot of movement at the fracture site during the uh, during the healing phase so it would lead to a uh, non-union uh, on the hypertrophic type there is also oligotrophic non-union that's when there is little or no callus formation and we also see the radiolucent line on the x-ray the third type is the atrophic non-union that's when there is no callus formation whatsoever there is osteopenia and there is sclerotic avascular uh, bone segments seen on x-ray the other type of non-union is the infected uh, that's when there is infection to the bone fragments uh, and we we see on the x-ray we see osteopenia we see sclerotic avascular bone segments and we see segmental bone loss and clinical signs of infection uh, and the final type of non-union is the synovial pseudoarthrosis that's when there is a false joint at the fracture site and also classified as hypertrophic 
Sinaiva uh, pseudoarthritis and oligotrophic, atrophic, and infected. And here we have an x-ray of a patient that fractured the radius here and uh, it is immobilized by internal fixation using plates and screws uh, and as we can see there is a little of callus formed here and here uh, so it is and the fracture line is still visible here so it is a non-union of the oligotrophic type and now let's talk about the non-union risk factors and they include uh, old age so for individuals that are all a old age uh, they are more uh, they have more risk of non-union and if uh, the person that has fracture is on poor nutrition and uh, there is some drugs that uh, decrease the uh, fracture healing and those include uh, the steroids the non-steroids anti-inflammatory drugs the proton pump inhibitors the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors uh, those all uh, slow the fracture healing and may lead to non-union and if the a patient has metabolic disease of the bone uh, this would also lead to non-union now let's talk about the malunion so malunion is healing of the fracture in non-anatomical position and it is partially compensated for by the remodeling of the bone and it may lead to functional impairment or poor aesthetic uh, the causes of malunion include inaccurate reduction uh, and inadequate immobilization. And complication of the malunion, it may lead to osteoarthritis if there is intraarticular malunion or uh, the joint is unstable because of the maluni malunited fracture. And finally, we have refracturing. So, fixation material should be removed within 18 months after the fracture healing and if left in place for longer than that it would lead to cortical atrophy and high risk of refracturing so basically it would uh, it would damage the cortical uh, the cortex of the bone and it would lead to cortical atrophy and subsequent refracture uh, after it would uh, be uh, removed from the bone and that's it for this video thank you for watching and if you want to support us, you can by subscribing to the channel and liking the videos you watch. And if you want to support more, you can by subscribing to the Patreon link provided in the description of this page. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next videos. Peace.